possibly the most different video I'm ever gonna do on this channel because I feel like we've gotten to the point where we've collected a lot of weird things in our time, we've collected a lot of different things and found some really valuable, really expensive things and uh, this video is gonna be a little bit more raw and real because there's so much to go through and it's um, it's extreme. This is as big as it gets. Long story short, before I kind of jump into storytelling, um, we've been kind of poking around at the idea that we went to a swap meet a while ago and uh, I found these, I'll show you. I'm gonna move around a lot in this video. so. We found these originally at a booth. It was the first thing we found at a booth. I'm with my amazing friend Curtis, by the way. Shout out behind the camera. He kind of plays a big part in this as well. We found these Double Dragon books. And when we found them at the edge of the table, it was a, a very big deal, right? I'm like, oh, Double Dragon books? And Deke, I mentioned Deke a lot on the channel. This is um, an animation company. They do great, great cartoons. Some of my favorites from a childhood. Um, By the power of the dragon. Saturday at 8.30 on UPN 50. Big memorable shows for me. And we found these Double Dragon ones and you know, I thought, oh my gosh, this is huge. Double Dragon models, book one of two and there's book two of two. So I started going through it and I'm like, oh my gosh. These are like the copies, the textbooks for how they came up with every character. You know, you got Billy Lee right here, it'll tell you. Billy Lee, copyright 1993 Deke Animation. April 5th, 1993. Jimmy Lee as Double Dragon. You skip some more pages. You got Kona, Tsunami. You got characters. You got Marion. And all these different things. And this goes all the way to landscapes and FX and graphics and everything. And I was like, okay, this is a big deal for me. Not only is this a part of video game history because it's Double Dragon, but animation history. So this is big. We talk to the vendor and he tells us, Hey, I actually bought out a locker. In this locker was basically an animation studio. We didn't know at the time what I'll tell you now, but it basically looks like this was a Deke. It almost, it has to be Deke. Almost 99% of what we found is from Deke, one of their abandoned lockers. So in this, there's landscapes, there's cells, there's giant, beautiful stuff. And I'm talking beautiful. And by the way, I have to get this out of the way. Uh, before I go into the rest of the video, wait till you guys hear uh, the Super Mario stuff we found. I'll spoil it now so you don't click away because I don't think you want to miss it. We found like eight different uh, animation books and huge, huge stuff for the Super Mario Super Show, Sonic the Hedgehog, Tales from the Crypt Keeper, canceled shows. But I'm going to go through each book and each binder in full detail on my second channel, which I created basically to have an excuse to show you guys things in more detail because I know... YouTube favors our, us for game hunting, so I don't want to ruin the algorithm for that. So check out the second channel, uh, Pixel Plus. That's where you're going to see all this. But, so, we found the Double Dragon stuff, and I was like, this is massive, right? I'll move on now. So, not to underplay it. Not to underplay it. This is big. I mean, this is history. We've actually talked to people who kind of do this for a living. They kind of... Um, you know, find out what value is for paper and different things. Uh, the value isn't what necessarily matters on this, although it, it may uh, to some of you, and if it does, he's saying he thinks like these things are like a thousand plus for each book, but we'll show you more. So, we go back, we find other things. Let me show you guys some of the other books that we found before I get into the Super Mario and Sonic, which I think are the grails. Uh, so is Double Dragon, by the way. Inspector Gadget, which is great. When I was a kid, I watched this all the time. And it's the same type of book. So, if you're a collector like me, here's the thing. I've held every game in existence, right? Even as a kid, I've held sealed Super Mario 3, sealed Final Fantasy, sealed this and that. The biggest of big. Nobody's ever held these really unless you're in the studio or designing this stuff. This is showing you all the different, you know, animations for Inspector Gadget. His badge, all different ways they do every animation for everything. And guys, this is history. This is them coming up with this stuff and making the animations of how this is gonna go, how it's gonna work. So not only that, you got Inspector Gadget. So we got Inspector Gadget, Double Dragon. Uh, I'll just go to the next one, which is a mind-blowing one. Um, this is Chester Cheetah, Sir Crazy Cat. So Curtis, when he brought this one to me, I'll be honest, we both kind of grazed over it. Like, that's sick, I love Chester Cheetah, that's awesome. And I start going, man, I've seen a lot of commercials with Chester Cheetah. And by the way, look at these all. 100% hand sketched, all 100% hand sketched in here. No copies, and I'm like, I love Chester Cheetah, but I don't, I don't recognize these episodes. I go and I do some research. Yo, it's the Chester Cheetah show, was a show that was supposed to come out on Fox Kids, and it was canceled. So these are the actual original drawings for all this of a show that never saw the light of day. So you're talking about rare, you're talking about obscure, uh, not even available to the public. This is as 
crazy as it gets. Mind blowing, mind blowing. This is all blowing my mind as it comes. Again, we're building up to a lot of stuff. Uh, here's another one. Baby's First Guide. This one's crazy because when we bought it, I was like, Baby's First Guide, who cares? It's baby Looney Tunes, but what it actually is, and I know I'm not going to be able to go and find the page off the bat right now. It's in here somewhere, but that's why I say check out the second channel. This is actually the pitch from WB to pitch this episode or this show to different studios or different networks to have them see it. Hey there, everybody. It's a Looney Full Day to have a little fun the baby Looney Tunes way. There's a whole pitch guide in here, which I'll show on the second channel. Um, submit one perform. It kind of tells you what the show's about, who's gonna accept it. I'll get more into detail, but uh, this is another absolute grail. I mean, it really is. It's the, the pitch guide showing people, hey, check out this show, Baby Looney Tunes. Um, we'll keep going. Uh, uh, let's go with another cool one right now. This is a, a fat one. Again, guys, this is, this is the find of a lifetime. You don't find stuff like this. You can't find stuff like this. It's not on the internet. You can't buy it because this is all that existed. This is where they existed. Check this out. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> the animated, if you don't know, Crypt Keeper is the animated one. And these are beautiful, Curtis. You might have to come get in here for these ones. You can kind of see October 7th, 1994. Just beautiful. And this book is Big boy. This is a big boy book right here. This one again is the same type of thing. This looks like a lot of storyboard type of stuff, which Double Dragon ones didn't seem so storyboardish. This one seems to have more storyboards, but look, you can see like this. It's got scripts, designs, FX. Look, it has the sticky notes from different, oh, you can tell that's an actual stamp. Oh, they got names. Pamela, we need to reach out to Pamela and ask her about this. Crypt Keeper Fun Pack. I mean, the, this is, if you've been doing what we do as long as we have, you know, 11 years, you almost feel like it can feel dry. Um, somehow God has graced us with these next level finds. And this is like one of those things, if you told me I'd be holding this stuff, I wouldn't believe you for anything. And I mean for anything, because this is, um, it's what you dream about. It's what you dream about. You're a kid Saturday morning watching this stuff going, man, that's rad and who would have known that we'd be holding uh, this stuff of uh, the way it came out. Um, I don't wanna go too much into some of these ones because we did do it on our other channel already. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, huge. Again, check out the other channel where we're gonna go into details. I wanna get to the meat of Mario. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, amazing. Not to skip it because it's nothing. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this one too. Here's another one. Um, this one was, I think, Wildcats. Yeah, Wildcats, guys, come on! Obscurity, this is all pencil written. This is not, this is right here, this is not uh, copies of it. Here, some of these are copies, but you guys have to remember, these are original copies. This isn't someone that scanned them in after the fact and said, oh, now I'll sell online. No, this is Deeks copies of this stuff. Again, all of this, hand notes. This is the best stuff to me. Little notes in here telling, you know, people that are working on it, hey, check this out, move this thing. As you can see, beautiful Wildcats, uh, absolutely fantastic. Loved, but also a little obscure, which is why I like it. So getting into two of my favorites right here, uh, besides the uh, Double Dragon and the rest of them, Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a big deal. He escapes my traps. Boo! He helps nice people. This is a big deal. If you're in the gaming world, Sonic the Hedgehog book. <laughs> this, this has props, same thing, FX, guides on how characters are drawn, their animations, it's beautiful, look, there's sizing for scales, you got the three-fourth view, you got Sonic with the ring right there, uh, different types of packs, different types of weapons, there's Robotnik, there's gloves, there's I mean, everything, there's tails, uh, just astonishing. You know, and, and this is the kind of thing, when I, I found this, uh, when we found this, when they kind of came together, the universe, I mean, it almost brings a little tear to your eye because it reminds you why you do this stuff, right? We can get so jaded by, I play games. I watched cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, the best of both worlds, right, is when cartoons and video games combine because it's two of your biggest loves as a kid. It just really puts in perspective and kind of sets you back down in your place and go, this is what that heavy nostalgia feels like and what it can do. To I mean, I sent these to my brothers and overnight we were just, just gawking about the fact that this is in our hands right now. Um, again, we're gonna get into Mario right now. 
Uh, something to take note of is obviously I can't keep all this. Uh, we also did pay for them. We paid good money for this stuff. Some of it we'll be letting go and hopefully our hope is to somewhere where it can be displayed. We're gonna frame a lot of it ourselves, keep as much as we can of ourselves. Um, try to keep things together. But uh, so if you know anybody that has any interest, this isn't like a sales video, but if in case you know anybody who owns a place where it'd be in a right home, where it'd be seen, that's what's important to us because, and we're try gonna try to get these scanned. I know it's expensive too, uh, but we wanna try to get them scanned. I'm talking fast because I, I, this, is, this is it. This is the big part. This is huge. This is, I'm gonna pull it up here, even though Curtis has got another angle right there. This is all Super Mario Bros. Super Show. And go figure, out of all the ones that we had to get the most of, the, the most detailed, it was the Mario Super Show. Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Uh, the grail, the creme de la creme. Um, as you can see up here, Curtis and everybody, up here on these giant envelopes, these aren't just like little manila envelopes, it will tell you Deke uh, has their address and everything like that, but it will also give you a number and those numbers on every single paper that's in here, every single paper that's in here has numbers on them to let you know where each paper goes. There's probably close to like 40,000 to 100,000 papers in here. Me and my buddy Andy, shout out to him, went through every single paper to make sure everything goes in the right place. And then it will tell you the name of the episode. So look right here, we got uh, Mario of the Apes, Koopa Claws, I'm not gonna go through all of them yet. Uh, Little Red Riding Princess, uh, the un un the Unzappables, Mario and the Great Coin Rush, again, a ton. But I'll kind of open one to give you guys an idea of what's in each one of these. And again, go on the second channel if you want to see me open. I'm going to open each one of these as its own episode to got to, to do it justice. So let's do, um, let me see one that I, that I want to do. Which one do I want to do? Let's do Provolone Ranger. Plumber's Log, number 1870. We were on our way to the wild western frontier of the Mushroom Kingdom. Right, Provolone Ranger. So what do we got in here? Inside of this, this is where Curtis's camera is probably going to come in handy. You have folders. Some have more than the others. But I, again, guys, I can't stress the rarity and obscurity of this. And this is it. We have them. That's it. There is... There is that's it. This is it. This is what exists for this. Uh... I get stressed out. I get like like little mini panic attacks. Uh, so Provolone Ranger, you might want to come over here for this, Curtis. I'll go to your camera. So here's some of the uh, more like cell type. I don't think they're technically cells. Uh, they had this on here, which I wasn't a big fan of, the paper clip, but I also didn't want to lose anything that was part of it. So this is backgrounds. You can see it says BG. These are different backgrounds for the Provolone Ranger uh, for the name of the episode, which I think in the episode, Mario's name is Provolone Ranger. So those were all backgrounds right there, some beautiful backgrounds. Again, don't want to uh, make light of uh, how beautiful these actually are. But if you come down here, like, look at this. Check this out, dude. These are hand-drawn. Provolone Ranger Cup. By the way, Rick Juarez is the name signed on these. Rick Juarez is the guy, by the way, rest in peace, Rick. I wanted to reach out to him. I think he passed recently. But he did like Earthworm Jim and Mario Super Show and a ton. He has a great list of some of the best animations ever. He signed a lot of these and they are just gorgeous. Look, even like the water tap, he signs his name on there. Rick Juarez. And it's beautiful. So much, I mean, again, but there's just so much, in, oh my gosh, look at these, dude. Oh, like, look at this, dude. Like, I freaking love it. I'm gonna show the other camera this one. Like, look at this, guys. Uh, hopefully that picks it up. It's probably not, but I'll hold it there for a second for you guys. Cal oh, and they have this on top of each page of the copied pages, right? Not of the hand sketches, but they have the Mario Super Show up there, kind of with, you can see the title of the name of the, the video, the episode and all that. And some of them have more than others, but what a, what a lot of them do have is these giant sketches, which are, I mean, they're big guys. This is, this is big stuff. I, I'm not going to lie. Hand sketched all of this. I mean, this, this is, I, I can't stress it guys doing what I've been doing uh, this long. This is, <laughs> come on, hand sketched Rick Juarez, Mario as the Provolone Ranger. I mean, like, look, this is like next level. Like this is what, I mean, look, look how awesome this is, guys. Look at Koopa in there. I'm looking up at Curtis a lot, guys. I mean, look at Koopa. This is a scanned one in with some real drawings on it, but this is a final that went through. This is 
what each one of these contains. Each one of these folders contains it. And in the beginning we were like, hey, there's like 15 or 16 folders, which is amazing, which is awesome. But then when Andy and I went through, we realized there was little folders within folders, which Curtis can show you down here. There's little folders, and I know they're kind of falling out of place, but this is how they were, guys. I promise we're not putting any more damage on them than, there, than what was already there. Just, we're trying to keep everything as nice as we can. So these were broken in. Some of them didn't even have folders like this one. It just had this, and this is a whole different episode. Mario 192039. It's just another episode. And there is just countless ones of these, as you can see. There is some, look at this one, Curtis. This is beautiful. This is like a, kind of like a horror theme. Oh, Castle Koopenstein. Like, come on. Come on, like it's just too good. Oh, okay, here's a, here's another banger that I gotta show you. Look at this one, guys. This has some beautiful artwork in here, but on top of the beautiful artwork, look at the hand sketches. <laughs> just inside of the castle. And a lot of these sketches, you'll notice, even, I mean, it's gonna be hard to find right now, point out to you guys, but they'll have like little pictures of like Mario, but it doesn't look like Mario, but they'll put a note like this will, oh, there he is, like look, check this out, you probably gotta get real close on that one. See him right there? That's gonna be Mario right there. You, I, this is something for us, not only a lot to process for us, um, by the way, there is more down there. I, I can't even get it out right now. There's cells of Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a, a beautiful cells, beautiful cells of Carmen San Diego. Um, beautiful cells. Of, there's a couple of He-Man in there. Um, if I heard about it or saw it on American Pickers or Pawn Stars, my jaw would be dropped and I'd be like, no way. Like there's no way that not only that exists, but that it's been found. And for it, for it to land in our hands is kind of like an unreal feeling that I almost feel like there's no way we can top it again. We found so many cool things and there has been times where I'm like, there's no way we can top this. There's no way we can top this. There's no way Ricky just found those statues. There's no way I just found the, the World of Nintendo cabinets at a mechanic shop. There's no way, there's no way. And then this, I talked to some of my buddies who do this kind of stuff for a living. They own stores, they own shops, they curate stuff. And they were just like, this is it, dude. Like it doesn't get cooler than this. It doesn't get better than this. There's no better way to explain it than what my buddy Joe told me is that like I said earlier, we've all held the rarest of rare. We've all seen the rarest and rare, but this is not, it's not there. It's not in circulation. This is as obscure of a feeling, uh, or as good as a feeling as you can possibly get as someone who's a hunter, right? When you, whatever you hunt, you have your thing that makes you happy to hunt. And for us, this is that accumulation of both things. You know, we've always talked about Saturday mornings and, and video games that just, it, it, it changed, it, it, it actually changed my week. Curtis and I were like texting each other all the time, like, what, what, what do we, what do we do? How do we go from here? So again, goals in mind for us, keep what we want, scan what, we'll scan hopefully everything. I know scanning can be expensive. We'll see, we have a good friend, Archon, who maybe can help us out. Um, scanning can be inspect, expensive, but then also getting into hands of some of you guys who maybe uh, need them or want them. Again, this isn't a sales video. We didn't get these for a dollar. It wasn't one of those finds by any means. After the Double Dragon, basically, it was like personal deals and private and was uh, it costed money, <laughs> good money. So, but hopefully, you know, people out there that, that people can see this who, who, who have a desire to get some of this stuff too as well, because uh, this is history. This is history in its finest form. Uh, for us. So we appreciate you guys. We really do. This video is completely unplanned. We just kind of threw up some cameras and said, let me just talk and see how it goes. So hopefully I didn't come across in any certain way in this video. It's just me kind of spewing out my feelings as they come because uh, I have so many feelings uh, over this right now. Again, if you guys want to check out the second channel, this isn't a promotion for it either, but um, do it if you want to see me open these folders kind of one by one and dive through them and really get to just overhead cam and see it. So we appreciate you guys. Holy crap. Thank you.